Hi everyone, my name is Christopher Walker and today we're going to be talking about how to share a Google Jamboard. So first what you're going to do is going to go up into the top right hand corner and click on the share blue button and that's going to open up this new screen for you. You can already see um, that it has some sharing options pre-chosen. So the first one is um, for who has access. It's private, so only I have access currently. Um, and then you can see there's my information right there. And then it also says I'm the owner. Now what I can do is I can come down here and I can type in someone's email address and share it with them. So maybe I want this one to go to do. Um, and then I can decide what kind of access I want him to have. So currently it says that he has the rights to edit files directly, and that's only as soon as I click send. So if I want him to only be able to view it, I can change that um, and it'll show like a little I instead, and then I would press send. Um, I can also add a message in here for him um, that tells him about the Jamboard or whatever it may be. And then I also have the option to send a copy to myself as well. Um, another thing that you can do to change the sharing options is that you can go up here um, and when it says private only you can access, I can click change and then I can choose from these many different options. So I can make it public on the web um, so anyone can find it um, through search engines and stuff like that. Anyone with a link can access it. Um, anyone at JCISD can find and access it. So if they are utilizing their account from JCISD, I can do that. Anyone at JCISD with a link, so they'd have to have the specific link and be a part of JCISD, or I can leave it in the off, which only allows specific people. So I'm gonna change it to this option. Um, and then you'll also get access options down here like we had before would do. Um, I can decide to let him, let people who have the link edit or just view. Um, and then I would wanna click save. And now those changes have made been made. And now I also have this link to share up here. So what I can do is I can copy and then share it with whoever I want. Um, but again, they do need to be a part of JCISD um, in order to access it with the link because that's how I've set it here. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on the sharing options you have within Google Jamboard.